Hello. In this demonstration, I will show you a method of sizing cotton canvas with rabbit skin glue. We'll start with mixing some rabbit skin glue. Now I have here a bucket with cold water in. It has to be cold water. And I put 10 scoops of cold water into the bucket. I'm going to put one scoop of the rabbit skin granules and I'm just going to sprinkle it over the surface of the water. So it's 10 parts water, one part glue. I'm just going to just stir it in and that's all you have to do. You have to put it to side for three to four hours. It was, it's usable in three to four hours, but probably seven to eight hours before it's completely turned into a jelly. So this is the jelly mix I've already mixed up. And this is a ceramic mug, which I'm going to use. I'm going to pour the rabbit skin glue into the ceramic mug and I'm going to put it into this Ban Marie. Now this is an old cooking tin. An aluminium one would be fine. I, I mixed this up earlier so I'm going to use this for the demonstration. You must not put hot water or microwave the jelly or direct heat. It literally cooks it. It's a natural material and the, the whole strength just disappears. So if you want it full strength, just warm it up. It's just warm water. I can put my hands in. Now, the mix is perfectly liquid. There's no lumps in it. And I have a demonstration canvas here. So it's a cotton canvas stretched over a timber frame. Just move that out of the way. Now you'll need just a, a big brush if you can. And this stretcher I've already put one coat on. It's totally dry. And one of the advantages of the rabbit skin glue, when the water evaporates and it dries, it tightens the whole canvas. So I'm just going to quickly brush the rabbit skin glue, the size across the surface. Now even though it's got one coat on it already it's really soaking in. So I'm just doing a kind of cross stroke making sure that I have not puddled it but mo most importantly I've, I've covered every part of the, the canvas. And then the last bit in the corner. Put that back into the warm water. Now to clean your brush, it's quite simple really. It's just warm water. There are no solvents involved, no terps or white spirit, it's just literally warm water. So after this is dry, the canvas is ready to go.
It's ready for use. I hope there's something in this video for you uh, and there's some takeaways. Thank you so much for watching.